Hey guys, this is BMB and another tutorial. We will start with the winners list of our giveaway program, so congratulations for all the winners. Do not miss the chance to be the winner of this month too, so all what you need to do is to write a comment right down in this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and activate the notification button to be informed when we post our next video to announce the list of winners. About the gifts, we will select one of the posted comments of this video and we will send to that lucky person an Arduino board and then we will select 4 other comments to win a 30 US dollars free coupons that you can use to order some PCBs from GLC PCB and we will provide also coupon codes for PCB ordering discount in every video we post. As I told you, all what you need to do is to write a comment right down in this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Moving to today's project, I've been watching across the internet many cool business cards ideas, so I decided to design my own business card in the form of printed circuit board. And I will show you in this tutorial how to make this happen and how to get a cool business card. So let's get started. So this tutorial will guide you through producing your own business card but first, let's make the design of our card. Since it's a PCB business card, then we need its related schematic. In order to prepare the schematic, I used EasyDA design tool, which is a super handy for both beginners and professional PCB designers. This circuit is a basic one. It has a USB connector for power supply and 80 mega microcontroller where we will connect these 5 RGB LEDs which are controlled by these 3 push buttons. All the components here are SMD parts except the USB connector which is a through hole part. After tracing the tracks, you will have the full schematic ready to be transformed into a PCB design. Just clicking and transforming to PCB design and all what we need now is setting the PCB outline to set the business card size. Size of the board is so important to fit in people pockets and wallets. So I took the measurements of an existing badge which has the same standard dimensions of a business card. Then I get back to EasyDA design tool to create the board outline that follows the measured dimensions. Now we drag and drop the components and the board layouts and we start writing the personal information like the full name, the job, the address and contacts. After adding some cool logos and icons, the board is ready for routing and all what it takes is routing these components. In order to have my name written in golden finish material, I set it as top solder mask layer but be careful while routing this board, you should avoid the contact of two tracks of two different nets with the top solder mask pattern or it will be shorted. Now our design is ready for production so all what we need is generating the Gerber files and drop them to JLC PCB for ordering. Just set some PCB production settings like the PCB color which is black or you can choose whatever available color you like and the unique surface finish to have the golden look and the PCB thickness is set to 0.4 mm to give it the appearance of a real business card. I ordered 50 pieces of this board as a trial and I dropped it into production with some other PCB designs to get them all shipped in one pack. Just 4 days to wait and I got my PCBs well delivered with this new coating of the delivery box and this cool gift from the supplier. Here are our PCBs very well produced and you can see the golden surface finish added a better looking on a black PCB and also the board thickness is exactly as we said, so very good job from JLC PCB as always. About our design, I noticed some spelling errors after putting the board to production and also I got an advice from some electronics group makers about putting QR code instead of the links here. 
Now we move to the software part. As I mentioned it, we will have an 80 mega microcontroller of the Arduino Nano board which will help us to display three different animation on the RGB LEDs and here is its related code that you can download from the link in the description down below. Now all what we need to do is soldering all these components to our PCB. After finishing the assembly, just an external 5 volt power adapter is enough to power the board and you can start playing with these animations. Please to note that this is just a demonstration of the circuit connection and you don't need to solder parts to all the boards because you can use these PCBs as it is for business contact chair. Following this tutorial, you can make your awesome looking business card to show the world how talented and creative you are, but still some other improvements to perform in our project in order to make it much more better, that's why I will be waiting for your commands to improve it. Do not forget to thumb this video if you like it and to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the chance to be the month winner of the giveaway program. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BMB from Megadas. See you next time.